Hi everyone! Welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa and we are going to paint a really awesome uh, picture today. Um, this past week um, I gave you all three options to choose from, uh, from um, a photo a photographer um, and uh, it was from a site uh, called uh, acornart.net. Um, this um, site has a bunch of um, pictures on Facebook as well and has a Facebook group and, and gorgeous shots uh, from the east coast of Canada. Um, and the one that won this week was this really peaceful, lovely, summer inspiring image of a dock on a very calm lake. Uh, you can see some rocks there in the water too. Um, so we'll be painting this today. So we'll get started probably in about like 10 minutes or so um, just to make sure everyone who wants to paint along uh, has the opportunity to grab any supplies and, and get ready. Um, and uh, prior to that um, I just want to welcome anyone uh, who is joining me today. Feel free to say hi and let me know where, where you're tuning in from. Um, if you're un unable to watch the video right now or paint along with it, um, you can watch this afterwards. So it will be available under the videos tab on my Facebook page. Um, and it'll also be on my YouTube channel, also called Lisa's Painting Party, so you can watch it in either of those spots whenever you so desire. Um, all my other painting um, parties are up on those two sites as well. Um, and this is paint party number 66. So if you enjoy this process and you want to check out more, please feel free to go ahead and do so. Um, everything is there. Everything is free. Um, if uh, you'd like to support me in any particular way, uh, feel free to buy me a coffee. There's a link just in the, it's like a pinned link right there. Um, or um, if you'd like to have your own uh, private paint party with friends and family or a work event or something, um, I can do that as well. So just send me a private message and then we can talk about um, what that looks like too. Um, so that is the spiel and I hope all of you guys are ready to have fun and paint today. Um, so basically again for anyone who hasn't joined me before, um, the painting, uh, this is a photograph so obviously um, I have never painted this before so anytime we have these paint parties I talk you through my approach on how I will go about painting and reproducing this image in my own style as a painting in acrylic paint. Um, and so what I encourage is uh, that if you have any tips or tricks or if you're trying something new, um, please comment and share your best practices and anything you'd like to just to let everyone know about, please uh, share in the comments. I'm not a professional, I just really love painting um, and I love to share that joy and uh, get all of you guys really excited to paint too because it is just as easy as finding an image that you love and then doing your best to make it your own. Um, the other thing too is, um, I. It's going to be similar. I'm going to try to follow this, the similar vibe of this painting, um, but it is still going to be a painting. So I want it to feel painterly, so I'm going to be putting a bit more of my own like strokes and, and impact into it, and I really suggest that you do the same thing as well. Um, hi, Kathy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You've been so generous, and, and I really appreciate it. Uh, Kathy's my uh, cousin who I didn't know existed. <laughs> um, we have, so we have shared the same uh, last name, which is very cool. Um, and Jody, hi Jody. I'm so glad you're here on time. Yay! And it looks like I don't know if you just changed your name on this account or if you logged into your initial account. Maybe that's working now for you, which is fantastic. I'm glad to hear if it is. Um, cool. So, um, so yeah. So I definitely encourage you to make it your own. So just because this canoe is green. You can make it purple, you can make it whatever color you want, it doesn't have to be the same, you could change where the dock is. I encourage you to take this painting however you so desire, um, and uh, and yeah, and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, uh, in terms of supplies, uh, today I'm actually using um, an actual canvas, surprise, surprise, anyone who's joined me before knows that I usually use canvas board. Um, it's still the same size, so it's a... Um, a I think it's the same size. I feel like it looks kind of small. No, it's about the same. Yeah. Um, it's 11, 11 by 14. Um, and so I'll be using a canvas for this one. I thought this one might be nice. We'll see. Hopefully it turns out nice enough uh, for what I'm thinking I want to use it for. Um, and uh, besides the canvas itself, we have paint. So I use um, dollar store acrylic crafting paint. 
Um, it's cheap. It's uh, easy to use. It sometimes can be kind of funky pigments, but I kind of roll with it and we go with that. Um, if you can't afford to um, invest in the better quality paints, I definitely suggest it. Um, it will make the process a little bit easier. Um, but regardless, um, if you whatever paints you want, if you have red, blue, yellow, black, black and white, then you can mix any colors from there. So even if you are looking to invest or get something but nicer quality, if you get those five colors, you're kind of in a good place. Um, and you can always just play around. I have other premix colors as well that I might dip into as well, but those are the main ones. And I'll talk you through how to mix the colors as well um, if you're doing that. Um, I also have paint uh, water containers for the paint. Acrylic is water based. So water will help us um, in some of the processes, also to clean our brushes as we go. I have my very dirty paint palette here with us. Um, and I suggest you have three brushes, and I usually just say a large, a medium, and a fine. Um, and that, I just say that in relation to your canvas size. So the ones that I use for an 11 by 14 is this is a size 10 brush. It's very, it's large and it gives me nice coverage on this size canvas. My medium brush, this one I think is a, mm, I feel like it's a two. The number has worn off because I've, yes, it's a two. This one's a two, but sometimes I use a two or a four for like a medium. And this brush is a fine tip. Doesn't really look like it at the moment, but it's a size four, um, but it gives me a really nice fine point. Although it doesn't, like I said, it look, doesn't look like it right now. Um, besides that, I also have paper towel as well. So if you have paper towel, have that too. Um, and that is what we need for painting. And what I'll do is, I will um, have this picture available just beside when I'm painting, so you'll be able to see it as we go. But I would suggest, um, again, depending on your preferences, I'm a bit of a control freak, and so sometimes if I'm painting, I'd like the image more accessible to me. Um, so feel free to go to the post that uh, where I announced the winner for today's paint party um, and just grab the picture. You can download the picture from there or just have it available so you can use it as reference if you prefer. Otherwise, you can just talk through the process and go from there. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you are able to get in, Jody. That's fantastic. All right, perfect. So we're going to get started in about mm, three minutes or so. Whoopsie. Closed off my camera. There we go. Okay. So with this, maybe we'll talk through actually our steps of where we want to go with it. Okay. So when we start painting, um, I'm going to always, I always start with whatever's furthest in the back. So I'm going to start with the sky. Um, and this sky is very plain and simple and beautiful for that. Um, so I'm going to be using like a light blue um, and some white. So if you want, you can start putting a little bit of blue and some white on your palette. Um, and we can get started on that momentarily. I might want to play with it a little bit. Um, I do like to add a little bit of motion. I don't know if I can make this picture as calm as um, the, or my painting as calm as this picture is. I kind of want to put a little bit more movement into things. So I think I might want to do that with the sky and a little bit more with the water. But And you can decide to do that or not. It's up to you. Um, but I'll talk you through um, how that is. Once we put that sky in, I'm going to be painting in where my horizon is, um, and then I'll be popping in the really the background where you can't, well, you know there's trees happening back there, but like you really can't see them, and then putting in some of the ones in the foreground, and then from there we're going to be doing our water, and then we'll build it towards the front, and we'll go through each step at that point, okay? Um, so don't be worried. I was a little bit, um, and I'm a little bit apprehensive to be doing like the rocks and how like some of the rocks are under the water and some are poking out. Um, and so um, I have a couple of um, ideas of how to approach that, which we'll touch base on that um, as we get to that section of it. Um, but yeah, besides that, if you um, need to, you can rewind um, this video too. So if you feel like you missed something or you want to go back a step or you want to pause, I believe the pause functionality is also available too. So you can do that. I'll be moving the camera in a moment so you can actually um, see my um, iPad and um, the canvas properly and then we'll get started. Awesome. All right, I'm going to move the camera now just to get that set up. So like that and put it like that. Don't really need to see my face too much. There we go. And then we will get started momentarily. Sorry for the, the light that's on the iPad screen, but c'est la vie. My process, my uh, very professional setup on the floor of my spare bedroom, which is now my office space. All right, 
Okay, so let's start with the sky. I think we're at, yeah, we're at 6.05, so we're at a good time. So perfection. I'm just going to take some water. Mm -mm -mm. I suggest that you also grab some water, too. I'm just going to see if I can move this light, but maybe it won't be as annoying. Yeah, well, it's still there, isn't it? Well, that's not even that light. That's not, it's not creating anything. Is it this one? Oh, it is. Maybe like that for now until it gets darker right now I'm still gonna get sunlight coming in the window so I'm we're good we don't need the floor lights to help us okay Drop the loose almost out okay let's get my blue so the blue that I have today is called Copenhagen blue um, this particular blue again it's just because it's the one that we have from the Dollarama it's not because I love this particular shade um, but it is a little bit darker, so I would say if you have, oh, I see Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. So for this one, for any of the paintings that I do, I always say as long as you have the basic primary colors, so red, blue, and yellow, and white, and black, then you can make any colors from there. If you happen to have other colors available, feel free to dip into them, but I'm going to be using the primary colors and speaking to that um, as I'm going. Um, and then I might like also dip into my pre-made green, potentially, just because there's clearly a lot of green going on in this picture. It might just be a little bit easier as I'm painting to do that. So I'm going to be getting quite a bit. I'll just show you my ratios on the palette of it. So I have quite a bit of white and a little bit less of that in blue. I'm going to get my big old paintbrush. Oh, I'm excited. I haven't used a... I'll make sure I paint that edge this week because I usually don't do canvas. I usually do canvas board. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just wetting the canvas a bit. So the sky, let's think about that too, how big we want our sky to be. So the sky, I would say, is about like one-fifth to like one-fourth. It's about one-fifth. No, it's about a quarter. About the quarter of our top part of our canvas there. So I'm going to be getting some water, and I'm just going to wet down the canvas slightly. Just so that we'll get nice, easy, good coverage right off the hop with our acrylic paint. And we want like a nice, easy flowing, smooth sky happening. So the sky is kind of a light blue. My blue is quite dark. So and you've probably seen me, if you've watched me before, I, I've done this in the past where I, I end up mixing the colors I want like right on the canvas. So I'll get my blue, the straight up blue that I have, and I'll just put a few like lines in randomly which looks kind of weird, but then I'm going to grab a bunch of white and then I'm going to just start mixing in my bun I've got a bunch more right on top of my blue and that's going to give me a nice blend and get the sky filled out nice and quick. I prefer to, I don't really like to mix my paint on my palette I like to do it especially when I'm doing skies and water and landscape scenes in general I like to do it on the fly and as we go and, and just kind of see what color comes out if you don't like to do that that's totally fine you can pre-mix the color first and then you can apply it really up to you and again I'm going to remind myself let's paint the sides of the canvas shall we I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. Just put a little bit of blue. I'm going to get some white. I'm going to do the same thing. make it more seamless throughout the process. I'm just going to bring up that color on top of it too. Nice, beautiful, simple, bright, clear sky. And I would bring it just slightly lower than where you would want your horizon to be. So the horizon is going to be again about 
that quarter way. That's where we're going to put our horizon. So we just want the sky to make sure that the sky stays behind that horizon line. So you just want to make sure you bring it down far enough to where you want those trees to sit on top of it, right? I don't want to have like just blank canvas there, right? That wouldn't be not a good thing. I'm just putting in a little bit more blue in here and just mixing it as I go before it dries out. It'll dry pretty quickly. So after using canvas board for weeks and weeks and weeks, and going back to a canvas right now, I'm noticing the canvas definitely holds the paint a lot better than the canvas board. Even though I do like the canvas board a lot, but you know, oh, oh, going back to canvas is pretty darn nice. Must say. Hi, Linda. Oh, nice. You tried to do the elephant with me before. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad you're joining me again. That's great. I live uh, just outside of Toronto. I'm in Ajax. I grew up in Toronto. And I did not want to move out of Toronto, but Toronto was not friendly in me trying to buy a house. <laughs> so I had to move to Ajax. And lucky I did when I did. We, we bought almost, I guess, nine years ago at this point. We're lucky we bought when we did because we wouldn't have been able to afford Ajax either. We'd waited longer. Holy. Real estate prices are ridiculous. My mom has her house still. Um, close to like a Cape and Danforth area, like in Greek town-ish. I'm not Greek, I'm Portuguese, but <laughs> I lived in Greek town. Um, and I loved it. Um, and uh, it's like a small house. Um, but I think the ones on her street, like next door to her, I've sold for like over like a million or something. It's, I, I don't even understand, but so, so crazy. I wish, I wish I could be in Toronto. All right. So now that I got my, yeah, I feel like it dries like super fast on this camp. Isn't that way faster than my canvas board? Holy. Okay. Fine. So we got that down. I think I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So I'll hold it a little bit closer if you can see. It actually looks kind of funny because the wood of the canvas is here. You can see my hand behind it. So then it looks a little bit different. But when you have it against a wall, you won't be able to see like a difference like that in terms of the color. But I just wanted to make sure I call that out if you notice that. Okay. So I want to put in um, that horizon line. So when I'm working with this horizon line, so I'm kind of looking and see where this back is. And it kind of comes out a little bit here because then this comes out, the, the land comes out a little bit. I think I'm going to use, let me think, I think I'm just going to use maybe like, um, maybe a bit of like a, like a black maybe to start, just put that in. No, I want to use a green. Eh, no, I'm going to go with black. <laughs> Let's do black. I'm a little indecisive today. Or maybe like a dark. Yeah, Let's use black. Okay. Let's pop it in with black and then we'll play around with it with some colors. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think, my medium brush to go in on this. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my brush before I go into the paint just to get the bristles where I want them to be. And I'm going to put my medium brush, my medium, it's very small, but it is not the one I'm using for my medium size. Keep going in and out. What do you mean, like the the image, Kim? Is it not? Uh, is it being weird? The video is being a bit weird. Is that what's happening? Or is my? Is it, or is it the audio? I feel like my audio sounds strange sometimes. Please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna put in where I want that horizon to live. So I'm just gonna sketch in like a guideline. with my black paint just to give me a nice line. And I want this to be fairly straight, but I am doing it freehand, so I'm definitely taking a bit of a chance here. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, it just got fuzzy. It's like super fuzzy right now. What is going on? Alright, now it's clear. 
No, I don't want to end the live video. What is... What? what? We used to get like a bunch of like people trying to scam stuff before and they stopped coming around so I guess there has to be another problem that has to start happening, right? <laughs> it can't just be like seamless and easy. <laughs> it's not people trying to be scammy. It's my equipment going fuzzy and uh, not being clear. What the heck? Okay. That's fine. That's working for me now. All right. I want to start building in some of this background. So this is like a really dark green, maybe like you can use black potentially too. It's up to you if you want to go that route. I might do a little bit just to start because I want to just kind of put in like a little bit of like just like touching it with my little brush and just putting like little a bit of black down here and then I'm going to use some green as well to start getting this feeling of like stuff happening back there there's like trees that are living back here okay hopefully that stops being all fuzzy so then um, I'm going to start using green. I have a pre-mixed green. If you don't have green, you mix blue and yellow. And I would suggest doing equal parts of blue and yellow. And then what you can do is, depending on what that looks like once you have equal parts of the blue and yellow, you can then add a little bit more yellow or a bit more blue depending on where you want to go with it. If you need it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. You could potentially also add some... Um, white potentially if you wanted to go look way lighter i wouldn't do that right now i'd keep it more on the dark um because i want to get a little bit of green happening but i'm just going with green now and i'm just going on like the top of like the black and as i'm doing it it's pulling the black nicely creating it to be like a little fuzzy you can see you can't really see the green too well maybe a little bit you see that's slightly lighter so I'm just touching it slightly like that in the background I might do a little bit more maybe I'll make it a little bit higher just slightly let's do that a little bit more looks a little bit denser at the bottom because I put the black in and then it looks a little bit lighter at the top because now there's a little bit of green on top so I'm wondering I think it's still going in and out a bit that's not good okay so I'm going to continue. I want to continue and put more across the back here. Because it looks like this piece of land is kind of sticking out in front of this horizon line. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to continue on and put some more little black. A little bit of black happening. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just put green again on top here. And this side's going to be a little bit higher. 
And as I'm putting this green in, I'm pulling that black. So it's already mixing on the canvas and giving me a slight gradient. And I'm not really worried too much about specifically like it looking like trees. I just want to get that color, that vibe, that lighter green and the depth happening. And I'm going to make it a little messy because I want it to be a little hilly, like some of them are going to stick out a little bit more than others. Okay. So I just added a little bit like that to that side. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do it on this side because this side has a, a bigger piece of land that's sticking out with a bunch of trees and you can see them a bit more and I will do a bit of a different technique on that side, I think. So, yeah. Let's uh, do that. Okay, so. Now, this side. Let's play with that a little bit. So I want to, I'm still going to use the black just to give me a bit of a line where I want that land to be on this side here. And that kind of comes out so it's like, this is the middle of the canvas. So it's almost at the middle. So the middle is about here. So we want that piece of land. So that's like the middle is like here. We want that piece of land to be up until about like there or so, more or less. So I'm just gonna bring it like this and I'm gonna bring it out a little bit down. that. This is going to live a little bit in the foreground. Okay. Perfecto. So I want to use some darker greens. I'm putting a little bit of black into my green. And the way I'm doing it, I, my, my paintbrush already had black paint on it. So I'm just dipping it into the green paint just to get it on my brush now. And I'm going to start to play with some of the trees in the background. We see them sticking out a little bit, right? So we can kind of start really wherever. Now there's, it's bigger. There's more happening here. And then it kind of goes down and dissipates slightly, but it's still pretty dense. So let's just keep that in mind as we go. So I'm just going to, this might need a thinner brush as well. We'll see. I'm just using like the side of my brush because it's already kind of giving me like, tree vibes. It looks like little like branches and stuff. Okay. So I'm just going to put in this feeling of some trees that are living back there. And if I don't want it, let's just put something a bit further higher just to give us a visual of what these trees are going to be like and where they're going to live. So I'm trying to make them a little sporadic at the moment because we're going to fill it in but I'm just going to put in like little lines. Some a little bit fuzzier than others. I'm just going to start filling it in a little bit. So I'm just putting in, it just looks like that, like super sparse. Because we're going to fill it in more on top. And we'll be able to go in and add more detail to it if you want some of the uh, branches to look a little bit different. And I want it to actually, yeah, my canvas keeps going after this. So I want to just give it the vibe even on the side of the canvas. There's little trees happening. Okay, cool. There we go. All right. 
Now, do, 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 do. I'm going to still get my green. I'm just going to go with more green so it's less of the black that I used. And I'm going to go and start putting in some more trees in on top. Mm, you know what? I'm going to use a little bit of white in there. So I need it to stand out a little bit more than what that one did. So I'm just going to, again, get the vibe, get the feeling that there is greenery here, and just put in this lighter color that I just, again, I just put a little bit of white in it, just to change it slightly. Okay, we're still going to do even more than that after, so I'm going to just see where we're at. Okay. And you know what, I'm going to go back. I just put a little bit more of the, I got the darker pigment again, and I'm just putting another layer in front of that lighter one now. So that just is giving a bit of that tree line look and I just again as you saw I'm just using the side of my brush so my brush is like a flat brush but then when I use it on the side it becomes pretty thin and I'm just like stamping it down just to give like the things and what I did was I used a bit of a darker green so I put some green with a little bit of black and then I put a little bit of white to get a bit lighter and then I used that darker one again, and I went in front just to build more layers there. Okay. And this base obviously doesn't look that great. So let's play with that a little bit. And then we can add some more, because you'll see there's some trees that like don't have like any like leaves on them. So you can play with that too. I don't know if I'm going to or if I'm just going to capture that there's a nice tree line happening. Um, right now, too, I'm just going to put in my ground a little bit. Just right now, I'm just using the green to do that because the black is a bit jarring. So I'm just going to do that first, and I think I'm going to put in some brown. brighter green and maybe are standing out a little bit more because it's in the front. Nice. Alright, pretty pretty. Sometimes I can't stop touching it though, so <laughs> just keep going. Okay. So I want to put a little bit of brown as well. I still want to like make this line a little bit straighter, but you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I want to play with the water first, um, and then I want to go back in and add some of those details. Because I think when we do the water, if I put in some of these details along the shoreline now, when I go back in with the water, I might end up painting over it, um, or it will be harder to kind of get that flow of the water happening, and I want to make sure I get that water down and looking really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the side for now in this kind of like jarred fashion. I'm going to go and I'm going to put in this piece of land on this side, right? And then we're going to touch and play with the water, okay? So now with that little piece of land, we're going to do the same thing that I did with the rest of the land that we've done so far. So I'm going to say, okay, so how far is that from the side? So that's about maybe like that more or less if I'm trying to eyeball it so that piece of land is maybe like here like that ok 
Okay, so I'm going to just create, again, like a bit of a, where does it sit? It sits right here, like that, okay? So we're going to build our trees on that black line that is now, I want to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, one moment, just getting my color a little bit lighter. Just because the back, the reason why is the background is still very dark and I want the trees to stand out a little bit. So I'm just going to put in and do the same thing with the side of my brush and just dab, dab, dab. And try to stagger it up a little bit. Right, and I would just create like a little, little cute little island. This is still doing the zoom in it. I feel like it just did. I feel like when I look at it, it like behaves. And then when I go back, it, it gets a fuzzy or blurry. It's like, you can't catch me. So I just try to get a bit of a, a regular green color here now. And just I'm going to build more trees in front of that. And at the bottom, I want to put some more, but I want to just get that depth happening. So I want to get it a little bit darker. Let's pull some up a little bit higher. Okay, so now we have a nice, oh, they're going blurry again. Come on. All right. So there's a little island right there. That's a little island, the little trees in the background. So cute. All right. So I feel pretty good about that. And again, I'm not going to worry too much about the land itself because we still want to put in our water. Um, and then we'll play with more of those details like to get that kind of like shoreline and um, obviously the reflection and stuff we're going to be doing afterwards, clearly. Okay. Awesome. So next step is the water. And I'm going to approach the water the same way as I did the sky. Okay. I'm going to work pretty quickly on it because um, it's a, a large area. And my canvas clearly is drying, this canvas is drying a lot faster than when I use my canvas board. Um, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit as I go through the process. We're going to do the same thing as we did up here. So the first step of it is I'm going to wet the canvas with water. Um, it's up to you whether you want to paint the entire thing with the water or whether you want to um, only do a bit and then kind of like leave the area in the middle where the dock's going to live. Um, if you want to, you know what, why don't we at this point just kind of sketch in where we want that dock to live, um, and where that boat's going to sit to give us an idea. And then you can decide how you want to do the water at that point. Um, I'm probably going to do the water for most of the area, but it's not really necessary to do it behind where the dock is because we're going to paint quite a bit. So let's maybe talk about where we want to sketch in those elements of the painting. So I think I'm going to use, maybe I'll just stick with blue for my my <laughs> sketching option. So I'm using my, again, a medium brush because it's pretty thin and it's giving me a good um, control over it. All right, so the dock's going to be really interesting because of the perspective, right? And some of you might be a little bit concerned about that. So what I'm going to say is forget that it's a dock. Don't think of it as what it is. And what we're going to think about it is we're going to think about it as lines. Okay. And where the lines are going to go in relation to this picture. So if we look at the bottom of this, this photo, okay, the dock takes up like, I would say more than almost like half of the painting essentially if you're going to bring it over to the side right like it's kind of like 
the foreground of the painting. So it's a good chunk of it. So I would say like, if you break the painting up into three sections, right? And you say, okay, this is about like the middle third. It's gonna be at least that, right? So that's where we're gonna start it off. So it's gonna start, let's just put a little line where we think that, that where that's gonna be. So let's say it's gonna be about there and it's gonna be about there. So that's gonna be my dock, the start of a dock, okay? Now, when we look at where the dock ends, that dock definitely does not take up the middle third of the canvas. It's not like this this wide. If you make it this wide, it's not going to make sense to the eye. We want to make it smaller because as it goes further away, just like the trees in the background, they're smaller further away. So we're going to do the same thing back there. So a few things to keep in mind. So the dock ends, that's about midway. So if you look at your picture, it's about halfway is where the dock ends. So you want to kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's kind of like halfway of your canvas right? And then the dock is kind of in the middle, but really it's only about maybe what, like one eighth. If we take that and kind of like eyeball it and go like that, like it's about what, four on that side, one, maybe one seventh of it, I suppose, right? So in relation to this bottom part, it's only about a small little section of it, right? So now let's just plot in where you want that to go. Okay, so we know it's going to be about halfway. So we know that line's gonna live about like here. And we're gonna go a little bit smaller than we think first. So we're just gonna put in like a little, let's see, like the middle here. So let's just do that. So just put it like a, a line, like a little dot right there, okay? And again, this is just to give us an, to eyeball where we want things to live. So the dock's probably gonna be about like, like there is where it's gonna end. Okay, and that's where it's gonna start and then from here, and I say to do this now because when we put the water in, if you do the water, then you might be scared of like painting on top of it. So maybe we should do it now because then we can always cover it up. We don't like it later. So now we see how it goes. So there's, it, the, it comes out like a bit of a, oh, let's not paint on the iPad, Lisa. <laughs> not the first time, not the last time. It's going to come out a little bit and then it's going to come down and meet the line. So we're going to see it kind of come. And it's like a slight angle. Maybe like that, and then we're going to have it come down, and we're just going to eyeball it more or less to meet that line there. Okay. Same thing on this side. So again, it's going to have it's going to go following that side, and then it's going to come. And more like that, and then it's going to come out. Okay, just to eyeball it, and we're going to be putting more details in afterwards. Okay, so that's kind of the shape of it. I'm noticing too, maybe I went a little bit too thin over here. Maybe this needs to be a bit fatter. It needs to come out more like that, I think. And then this will come out more like that, I think. It's a bit more accurate. So then you can kind of see where you want it to be, and then we'll paint on that. Okay, so that's that's just to give you an eyeball of how where the dock's gonna live. But that's still not going to matter too much with our water, but I think it will help. Now, for me it helps. Hopefully it helps you too. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is similar to what we did with the sky, I'm gonna get my big old fat brush get some water on it and I'm going to just put water where I want my water to live and that's just going to dampen your canvas and will make it easy to apply your paint and get a nice blend happening when we do that in a little moment It's okay if we go over the dock a little bit because we want the water to kind of continue. I'm not going to worry about the rocks in the foreground. We're just going to be painting our water right now. And we'll be putting in those details afterwards, okay? Let's just get our water in. Water on top of where the water lives. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Okay, so now similarly, I want to get that blue happening down here. Now, I will notice too, it's a darker at the bottom. The blue is more of a, a more darker blue. <laughs> Sometimes I say words and I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I meant to say. Okay, um, anyways, okay, that's what we're going to do. Now it has water on it. I'm going to go and just go like this with my blue paint randomly. Like a crazy person. Little lines of blue, la 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 la. Okay, now we're gonna go. We're gonna get our white paint, and we are going to throw it on top and start to blend. Try to work quickly. <laughs> Sometimes I forget and I get into things too much because we're going to try to blend. We don't want this blue paint to exist solely on the canvas. We want it to be blended into like a light blue, calm, beautiful water. Wow, this dries so fast. On my canvas board, like I had mentioned, like it takes so much longer for the water when I do that technique and I put the water on the canvas. I have a lot more time before it dries and this, um, like, yeah, it's throwing me off my technique a little bit, to be honest. Wowie wowie. Gotta move a lot faster. And everybody went running out of white paint, so I gotta put more white paint on there. Looks like we're going to use a lot of white paint. Okay, so I think I'm going to go back and put some more water because I feel like it's so dry. And again, if you're using a canvas board, I would not suggest to do that because the canvas board will just be... Oh, okay. I'm having too much fun with paint on the iPad today. All right, there we go. Be a nice light, calm, peaceful blue, but I want it to get a little bit darker as we come further down. So again, let's play on both sides and add a little bit more blue onto the side. Although I'm just still putting white in, just so I can. going and also I have not painted my sides of my canvas yet so I'm just I'm also just keeping that in mind so I want to make sure I do that but I'm not doing that just yet because I'm more worried about the front of it so I want it to be a little bit darker on this side I'm putting more blue into my white right on the canvas and I do want to go over that dock line a bit just because I don't want to see it perfectly clear like that. I'm doing this a little bit darker so I'm just going to keep adding a bit more blue until I get it slightly more a little bit darker there. I'm 
Okie dokie. Now let's go back to this side. Put some more water on here because it is dry, dry, dry. You may not need to. Just take a look and see how your canvas is. Mine's very dry already. And I already need more white paint. So I'm just going to top myself back up. So, let's put in, I want it darker and nice and blue. I'm going to get my white paint and I'm going to go right on top. the darker on this side. Nice, nice, nice. More blue happening. So now, it's looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Just gonna put in a little bit more. A little bit darker on the side. Alright, so we got some water. I feel like that's a little bit too white up there, but there we go. So we have our water. Okay, so you can decide if you want to soften it a little bit more. I'm using a little bit of water to soften some of the, the lines there, and I definitely want this to be a little bit not so white. So I'm just going to use my brush. I have a little bit of water on it. I'm just going to dirty up that white because it's not, it's not the color I want. I definitely wanted it 
lighter up here than at the bottom, but not, not like a pure white. Hold up, come on, I need a little bit of blue in there. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking I want a little bit too. I want to lighten up some areas because there's still a little bit of lightness happening up here. That looks a little bit more. I'm a little too crazy making it dark. <laughs> so a little bit more white in some areas. So here and there. Yeah, that's a bit nicer, and it's a bit darker at the bottom. All right. What? So fun. I love painting water. <laughs> Anyone who's painted with me before knows that. Okay. Done. We're done. Finished. Not really. <laughs> okay. Um, where do we want to go next? Um, part of me feels like I really want to do like the shadows and kind of get that part done. I think that's what I'm going to do next. That's what I want to play with. Okay, let's do that. And then we can go back and like paint in the dock and do all that stuff afterwards. Get all crazy and ruin the painting. No, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but I still have apprehension when I am doing a big element like that. I'm like, oh, let's hope it turns out well. All right. So let's take a look at our shoreline and see how we want to play with that a little bit. So we have our shoreline and then we have obviously the reflection in the water, right? So the reflection in the water, you'll see the greens being picked up from the trees. You'll see that in the water and you'll see that it just, they're uh, like washed out. So it, it looks this blurry, right? So it just has the reflection because it's not super crisp. It's going to have like the color, but then it's going to be blurry and there's going to be a little bit of that blue kind of interspersed in that, right? But there is like over here, for example, there's like a bit of a gap between the, um, the reflection and like the water. So there's still a bit of a gap. So we're going to remember to leave that there too. And that looks almost black, to be honest, on that side, as opposed to like having this green kind of tinge to it. So the way I'm going to approach this, I'm going to also, again, use my, that medium brush, the number two, because so it's pretty thin on the side. You can see a nice thinness it provides. I'm going to play with that one. And I'm going to go right away with like my green I want to just touch like a little bit of black into the green to make like a dark green but there are some color variations in here too and I would like to capture that as well if I can so how are we going to do that well let's put this on here and then I'm going to say okay so the shadows again they kind of mirror they kind of they absolutely mirror with the height of the trees and where they live. So you want to make sure that kind of matches. So there's like a bit of a tree here. We're going to go, I don't know if I want to start with that one actually. Let's start with some of these ones. Okay. So we're going to go like that. I'm just going to put in some of the lines of reflection. Okay. So I have like just like lines, just like straight lines. Okay. And then now I'm just going to go with the side of my brush and I'm just going to make it a little bit greener. I'm just going to go with the side of my brush, almost like. You know, I'm actually just going to go like that instead. It's just... Just to kind of put the color in, and then we're going to... it up 
a bit more. Okay, so it just has like little messy lines here. Okay. I want it a little darker in some spots, so I'm just going to put a little bit more black into some areas. Maybe like this tree will be a little bit darker. This one, two, and this one. Okay, let's put a little bit on the side. Okay, so now that we have that happening, these little lines, I want to soften them up a bit. I'm just going to get my light blue. No, we need you so don't go anywhere. You know what? I'm actually gonna go all this way too. It's touching it really lightly with paint and I have a little bit of water on there just to blur it out a bit. Yeah, it's working. Okay. I want to still touch it up a little bit more. I feel like it's still a little disjointed. Maybe put a little bit more. It's like there's too many like little lines. So I'm just gonna go back in with my brush and just like make it a little like fuller because I feel like it just you can see too many of the little strokes, and that doesn't make it look as realistic. I think that actually works nicer. It actually looks better. All right, new technique. That's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Much easier too. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. I'll show a close up in a moment. Just going to stroke in how it all water happened. Oof, not so much.
All right. I'll show you a little bit closer there. So that's my streaky reflection happening. Doesn't match up perfectly, but that's okay. It still gets the vibe. It's going. It's going well. It's going good. Okay. Um, I still want to um, put in that like shoreline because we still have that like stuff happening at the shore. I think I left a little bit too much space for that, to be honest. So I'm going to just bring up my reflection a little bit more because I feel like it will look a little bit weird if it's too thick. Bring that up there. I think that's fine. Cool. Yes. Yes. Good. All right. So I want to do brown. So if you need to mix brown, if you don't have a pre-mixed brown, what you can use is you mix equal parts of blue, red, and yellow. And if you mix equal parts of those ones, you'll get a brown. Again, depending on what kind of paints you're using from the dollar store like I do, Sometimes the brown can be a little bit more gray or a little bit funkier. Um, so you kind of just have to like, you know, play with that. Maybe add a little bit more yellow to it or maybe add a little bit more blue, depending on like which way you want to go. Just see how it's going and then go from there. Um, it's really up to you. Or if you have a pre-mixed one, we can use that. I'm using a pre-mixed one called Cinnamon Brown. Again, that's not, I didn't pick it on purpose. It's just the one that I have. And I just want to add a little bit of brown, make it like a shoreline. So the black that I had there before is a little jarring. So it's going to soften it a bit. I'm just going to make it a little bit more natural. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and there was like little... I guess maybe there's like some like rocks or something happening. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white just to make it look like there's something else. Just touch it a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not sure how much I like that. Alright, that's what I have going on the shoreline. There. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to do the same kind of vibe on this side here, on that little island in the background. Only here it's very dark, so there's a lot of black happening. I'm just going to or use like maybe like a dark green maybe. I think I'm going to stick with like a little bit of black into the green, but use more. Okay. And I think I'm going to go how I did it before on that side. And I'm actually just going to, so there's like the line is actually a little bit lower. Like that. So I'm just going to bring that over, fill it in a little bit. If I 
of that. Just try to mirror it as much as I can. And I think I might just leave it as such. That's that side of it. Okay. And then I do want to still do a little bit of like the land. I'm just going to go with the brown and just touch the base of that. Like that. I'll leave it as such. Okay, dokes. All right. Okay, so we've been doing this for now for about an hour or so. Hopefully you are all enjoying and sticking with me. Um, I'm looking at my inspiration image and I'm seeing a few things. So I think I could maybe put even more of a highlight on this side and bring it up further, which I think I'd like to make that a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm going to do that right now, I think before I move on to other areas of the painting. So I'm just getting a light blue, but I want to get more white in it. I'm just going to put it on top here. Just want more white. Get more of a highlight. Yeah, I think that's a little better. And I want to come in a little bit on this side too. Happy with that side. A little bit lighter here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more white in here. So I'm gonna a little bit of water just to blend in that white. keep this blend happening. So I'm just going to put a bit more blue in here. Okay. I think that is better. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to stop playing with water for now. We'll see if I decide to go back to that afterwards. But I think I'd like to start putting in this lovely dock. So this dock is, it looks like a very, 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 um, like, 
kind of like off white essentially um a very like it has like a bit of tinge of brown to it so i want to make like a really light brown and then i'm going to do a base of that and then we're going to put in the lines of the dock um just to give it that feeling and again we're not going to worry too much about it being perfect we're going to get the vibe of it to capture the dock on here so i think we're going to start off by let's um try to mix uh whatever color we want to use for this so I'm gonna get like a kind of like a brown but like really 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 light so I'm putting a little bit of brown and quite a bit of white and I'm just mixing it and putting a little bit of water in it I'm using my medium brush again because I'm getting good control over it okay and now I'm gonna redefine where we want this dock to live so again we had that line about here, right, okay, and then we had it come out, and it came out here. Up there cool and really I'm just gonna fill in this dock in this color although I'm gonna need my brush that's a bit bigger because otherwise it's gonna take too long with this small brush okay I need to cut that with a one that is a bit. Oh, maybe this will give me the control. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Probably have to touch that up. But I'm just going to fill this in to get the color I want here, and then we'll play with all of the details afterwards. This color I'm mixing on the palette as I go, but I'm also kind of mixing it on my canvas as I go. And brown, it's very dark. I want it to be lighter. Covered in the color, more or less, that I want to play with. All right, we have our dock. All right, 
My doc is feeling a little bit odd at the top here and it does actually go a little bit down. You actually see a little bit of the side of it. So I'm going to put that in and see if that corrects it or if the shape needs to be adjusted a bit, which I think it might need to be adjusted slightly. So this kind of comes down and it is that more or less. Okay, I think I need my thin brush so I can do it properly. A little bit darker. Thing a little bit of black. It's actually a little bit darker here. Definitely goes in a little bit too much. I think I need to fix that. I'm going to fix that now before I go further in this. I think this needs this. How should we do that? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see how we're going to do that. Uh, 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 uh. Bring it down like that. Okay. And now let's go with lighter color. A little better, but still too much. But it's okay. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Now the things that I notice about this are there's obviously some nice separations and lines in the actual dock. I don't want to do it all the way up because you kind of really can't see those lines as you get further away. Um, but you do have it a little bit on the side. So I think I do want to have some of those elements still kind of come out a bit. It also is they're a bit larger at the bottom. So they're, they're a bit wider and then they're smaller as they go further away. Because again, it's going farther away so you can't see them as much. So that's what I want to do now. So I'm going to, what color am I going to use? I want to use like a really, really, really dark brown, maybe almost a black, I think. Maybe I might just use black, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. I'm still going to use that medium brush to start and see if I like that or if it's too thick. I'm going to start with putting um, a line That's a little too thick. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my thin brush to do that. I think that would be better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let's dull that out a little bit with my white.
just want to make that a little thinner. Eh, I don't really like that. I feel like it needs to be more thin. A little better. I'll stick with using the brown, maybe that'll be better. Okay. I'm gonna go for it, and then if I don't like it, I'll paint over it. I get them thinner as I go further back. I think as we go further back, we're not really going to see them. In as much detail. Yes. I think that works. Okay. And then I want to play with it a little bit more because paint off this black line. The brown looks much nicer. Okay. Okay. And we also have like some like peg spots. I don't know what else we want to call them. So I'm going to do that with my thin brush. I think I'm going to stick with the brown, but I want it to be a little bit darker, I think. So I'm just going to use my thin brush. And then there's like a dot kind of here. Another one kind of here. And there's another one kind of here. And sure. there we go. All right. A little bit more I want to do with this. I'm going to like dirty it up a little bit.
Mm. Well, the brush is not holding the paint very well. Let me just do it on. Trying to get a bit more, like, a little bit of light on some of the... boards putting a little bit of white on them just to give it like so they're not all like one solid color they're kind of have different light hitting them There we go. I think I'm pretty happy. It's a little funky up here, I gotta say, but I'll just show that a bit closer. Okay, so that's the way my dock looks. I just put a little bit of white on top of it too, and I have the lines for the boards, and it kind of fades out and gets smaller as it goes further away. I put those little dots in there, or I guess like. I don't, they don't really look like they're like sticking up, but maybe they're like where you can hook things, I'm guessing. I don't know much about docks, so I don't know exactly what you do with that. Okay, so now we have that going. So now let's put in where we want to have um, the uh, canoe. I think it's a canoe, kayak? No, it's a canoe. <laughs> okay. So this um, one is in a beautiful green, which complements everything and just makes everything look very like calm and balanced and it looks really good. Um, I think I'm going to keep mine with this beautiful green canoe because I, I like the way it, I like the vibe of it. Um, so I'm going to use my green paint and I want to start with my medium brush, which again, like I said earlier, I have pretty good control over, so I'm going to keep using that right now. To like block in where I want this boat to live okay so I'm gonna follow where the dock is so it actually gets very close to where the dock is here and it comes out so I want to just follow that line there so it's very close here and then it comes out and it goes up here. I'm just gonna put a line like that. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. That. Okay. And this one comes down. Further out from here. Okay, so that's gonna come. Well, like that, ish. Okay. Then come around, and I'm gonna bring it back. going to be filled in, in green. The top part is green and the bottom part is black.
Okay, and then I want to get some black. I want to build the base of the boat. Aha, uh -huh. I only use the same one. Oh gosh, okay. And then I want to go like this. So I have to fix that up afterwards. And then I'm going to go like here. bit of a darker yeah, I have to fix that okay so I have a bit of a darker shadow to it like that I don't fully love it yet going to mix it a little bit with my green. That's cool. For now. Alright. And so, um, I need my, what, the inside of the bow is almost, it's so funny because it, it's so complimentary to the other colors in here. The inside of the boat almost looks like the color of the, the water behind it, which is very cool. Um, I do want to differentiate it a little bit more, so I'm going to make it more of like a gray, a light gray color, so black and white. It might be a little bit darker than I anticipate, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. We'll just use that. It's good. Okay. So I'm just going to put in... there I think like that okay oh my god okay there we go sorry Cool. Now, I think I'm going to go back to my thinner brush. And I want to put in, there's like some seats, and the seats are kind of like a brown, a very light. Similar to my dog. I'm going to pop that in. So there's one about here. And it's a good size of that. And I'm going to put in a nice black rim afterwards. And that's going to clean up all my lines. And that's going to make it look really, really good. And then there's another like board or something here. And there's another board like here. Okay. And it looks like maybe there's like something. I'm guessing it's maybe the paddle or something. I don't know what that is. Something's sticking out over there. It's so far away you can't really see what it is. But it's sticking out. Cool. Now there's a slight shadow. Underneath those little benches that we just made. So 
So I'm just going to pop a little bit darker right under. That. And there's a little bit of a shadow. There's a line like that. Okay. Now, let's go with our black. And let's put a nice, beautiful line around it. Still have to do more to it, obviously. But okay, so okay. All right, there we go. Okay. So a few different things sticking out of the boat. Not sure what they're, but I'm gonna put them in here. There's something sticking out like that. Something else sticking out like that. Got a little pokey thing there. Maybe there's like a rope or something. I don't know what's going on here. Something like that. Stuff going on. There. Okay. I do want to make it a little bit darker here. There we go. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to show you closer. See the boat? There's the boat hanging out by the dock. There we go. Awesome. All right, so we still have some more detailing to do here. So the next step, really. Um, so we have like tons of rocks happening on the side. So we can play with some of that. And again, we're going to approach it from looking just at the different color values and trying to mimic that. Because if you think about it as like rocks and water, it might be a little, ah, like how are we going to accomplish that, right? So um, we're going to do that. So next up, so let's see, how, where should we start with it? Dun, 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 dun. There's tons of rocks that are happening here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you 
you know what we should do? I think we need to put in the um, obvious reflection, because I completely did not do that yet. So let's do that first. Let's put the reflection, which is going to be essentially a mirror image, and it doesn't even look that blurry, to be honest. <laughs> okay, how are we going to do that now? So, it's going to come out like that. Let's make that bigger. Okay. And I think I'm going to use my thinner brush too. So we can't really see the reflection too much on this side, but it definitely exists. And so I'm going to just put it in. I don't have to. in some of the black too. Boom, we have a reflection. Okie doke. Now, I don't really know what all this stuff is, is even in the water. I guess it's like other places where you can anchor boats, maybe. I'm not sure. It's like a dock that's submerged. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put in all of those elements or not. Um, okay, so we have the reflection there. We have the dock. We have the, everything back here. I think it's just doing the rocks at this point. Okay, so what do I want to do? I need more white. Because I am out of my white. And I have some brown. Okay. I also realized I didn't paint the sides, which I was telling myself that I should be doing the whole time, and I definitely forgot to paint the sides of my canvas. Okay, so um let's see how we want to play with that. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Okay, let's see what we got. I got paint on my pants, so that's what I got. Okay, so get some brown. Get some white. Play with some of these rocks and see what we do with them. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, so we have a rock like there. So let's try that one that's prominent and then we'll lighten it up and go from there. This one's kind of like a funky shape. Okay. 
Okay, and this one's white-ish on the top. Definitely lighter on the top here. And then he has the darker in the middle. Oh, and then more white, I think. Looks like a little bit more here. Okay. Maybe need some gray, perhaps. Okay. And then it looks like there's even some black at the bottom. All right, so we got a rock. All right, let's paint some more of these, and then we'll. So that one is pretty flat, and he's pretty brown. And some gray too, I suppose. white as I go just to lighten it. Now I see some black at the bottom of him. Okay, let's see. What other ones do we want to put in here? I don't really like that one. That one looks... I didn't know about that guy. I feel like he's not well defined enough. I think I need to define him more on this side. Alright. Let's put in a little bit more. Okay. Another one like under here. But it's very gray, that one. And more of a gray.
Okay. So I'm turning a little bit closer to those rocks. So I just put a few of them. Ooh, it got blurry again, didn't it? There we go. So I just put a few little rocks there. And they look like they're very much above the water at the moment. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to make them look like they are more submerged. But for now, it will be just plotting in a bunch of this rockiness and trying to get the different colors going on here. So we're sorry. Oh, is that the one I was using? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. Let's see what other ones we're going to want to do. Let's play with another one behind there has some gray so what I'm doing when I'm trying to emulate these rocks is I'm just looking at the colors so behind this rock there's a rock that has gray it has some white and it has some light brown so that's what I'm trying to do so this rock behind here has like a part that's gray I'm just putting in the colors that I see Right, and then we have a part that is white. And it blends a little bit, so I'm just going to mess up that line a slight smudgy. Okay, and then it goes into like a light brown, and it sits kind of behind this other rock. So. go. So I just have the other rock there. A little, little rocky poo right there. Okay. And I'm noticing too there's more like little darker areas between the rocks. I'm just going in and putting a little bit of black in between them. So like here and that was a nice line there. Okay, and then we have another one there, and it has And then it comes, the gray comes up the two. Okay. And then it goes into like a, a bit of a brown. Oh, I need you. Don't go away. There we go. lighter with white because that is just a little bit too too brown not good like that but then I want you to mess up this line because it doesn't look like it's the same rock that way does it I need more gray we go. And then I'm noticing on that rock too, it's a little bit lighter on the sides, and a little bit more white in. There we go. So that one, again, just different, put the colors just to get that going. I'm not like super happy with this part, so I'm just going to mess it up a little bit and put a little bit of white in here too. It's better, I think. Okay. What is next? Okay. And then we have some little ones. So we have a good one here. That's kind of white. 
make it a little bit more brown. Okay. And there's a bigger one, and there's another little one here, I suppose. Okay. And then we have another one. a couple more rocks back there but now they look like they're just like floating which is weird so gotta put in a little bit of darkness in some of these areas too. I'm using a very dark blue to do that So there's a little bit of lightness in between there. Okay. Okay, and then Let's go with the darker here. Alright, so then that's the continuation of the rocks like that. So I'm just putting in some more darker areas and then continuing to build the rocks. And we're going to have to continue them outwards and build it on top of this water as we keep going until it kind of gets to a point where it blends in to the background there. And this will take quite a bit of time, I can see. So we are at our two hour mark and I think at this point I'm going to stop for now because these rocks will take quite a bit of time. Um, so I'm going to continue this probably later on tonight or tomorrow realistically um, and then I will show you when it's all complete but I think for now we're going to wrap that up. So I'm going to end up continuing to put these rocks onward and on the side here. Um, but for today, I think uh, that is going to be the wrap up for now. But um, once you guys are all done, please snap a picture of your painting and share it with me. So I'd love to see it. Um, and I'll do the same thing once I'm complete there. But I think I'm at the point where I'm pretty drained. So I need to <laughs> go and get some food and chill out for a little bit. Um, but for the sake of today's painting, that will be um, the end of it for now. Um, I hope you had a really great uh, time painting with me. And um, again, on Saturday, we have three more options, and we'll paint again live next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and this video will be up um, for you to watch it whenever you so desire on the Facebook page or on the YouTube channel, Lisa's Painting Parties. Thank you so much. I'm Lisa. Have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your week. Bye.